Now that we got the drop opened up, we're going to terminate the drop. A note about working outside in cold weather, if you're down near or below freezing, you're going to want to keep your strippers warm until you're ready to use them. Either put them in your pants pocket, chest pocket, tucked in your armpit. If they freeze, the holes will shrink enough that it will cut the fiber instead of stripping it. And you're going to have a very bad time. So we're going to take the buffer tube and our strippers. On the strippers, we got the 14 gauge mark. On this pair, it's the third largest. We're gonna measure back about six to eight inches. Lay it in there, give it a little cut, and just yank off the buffer tube. These hairs here are more strength members. Gonna take them off to the side, give it a little twist, and it will be much easier to cut with side cutters or with a knife. If you're missing your sharps container, it's nice to use a little loop of tape. You can put your fiber shards on there, any of these hairs, so they don't float away. Now, in most situations, you're going to be using the blue fiber first. You're going to open up your AFL Quick Connect Kit and... Grab out your strain reliever and feed that onto the fiber you will be stripping. You want to do that now before you strip or cleave the cable. Trying to do it after will either introduce dirt and debris or it can actually put micro fractures in the cleaved end. So now we're ready for the strippers. We are going to be putting it in the outer notch, the ones closest to the outside, the larger hole. Measure back about an inch and a half and make sure you're perfectly aligned and cut into it. Let go a little bit and pull off that coating. Now on the side, we have some measurements of where you're going to make your next stripping mark. So about five millimeters back from here, you're gonna line it up into the second notch, the one closest to the hinge. Make sure you're lined up at perfectly 90 degrees and pull straight. It's gonna pull off this Acolyte coating. And now, if you can see, there's actually a bunch of dust and debris on the cable. This is when you're going to want to wipe it with your Tex pad. You do not want to wipe it after you've cleaved it. It can leave alcohol residue on the cleaved tip. Next, we're going to grab the cleaver. Open it up. Open up the tray on the side and lay the cable in the outermost line. You're gonna move it up until your blue jacket is lined up with the 10 millimeter mark. You're gonna close the lid, hit the button, open it back up. Now it is perfectly cleaved. open up our quick connect tip and you want to give it a good squeeze first and make sure that is clicked all the way in. Now very carefully line it up and insert until you feel it bottoming out. Now with a little bit of pressure forcing the cable up inside the tip Gonna squeeze with your two fingers up here and remove the cable. Bring your strain relief up and twist it onto the end. Now you're gonna go to the FDH and plug it in on the other end. And of course, do your cleaning at the FDH. 
when you come back to the side of the house, you're going to remove the cap, open up your IBC cleaner, give it a clean, and insert it into the coupler of your fiber transition box immediately. Never put the dust cap on after giving it a wipe. 